today we are going to make snow globe snowmen. Um, I know I have a lot of stuff on here, so it looks overwhelming, but it's not. It's actually going to be lots of fun. Um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need um, a round piece of paper um, for the snow globe. I chose blue. Um, you're going to need some marbles. Which I have here. I have two marbles. Um, you're going to need some sort of tray. Um, it could be a box or something to lay this in that you can roll the marbles around without making too much of a mess. Um, you're going to need some white paint, a piece of tape, and then you're going to need white paper for the snowman. And then I have um, brown and black already cut up here. Um, I'm going to use those to make the arm and the hat. Uh, something to be the base of your snow globe. It can be any color that you want. And then I also have colored pencils so I can make the face and the eyes and the buttons some scissors, and then these are just here. I'm gonna use these to um, trace out the shape of my snowman, uh, but you can freehand it if you want or use something else. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think you're gonna really enjoy doing this craft today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually roll up my sleeves because I have a feeling I'm gonna get messy here. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to take your, uh, your circle and take a piece of tape and just tape it down onto tray here. This will prevent the paper from moving around when you are um, rolling the marbles around. So what you're going to do is definitely have a parent help you do this, but you're going to just put some white paint. See, I'm already making a mess. Some white paint into your tray. It doesn't have to be a lot, but I know more usually comes out than it's supposed to. So, uh, that. Okay. back on here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take your marbles, place them in here, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to roll it around, let it get into the paint. The paint might be too thick, but here you go. Roll it around. Let's get you out of here. There we go. Roll it around. You're making your little snowstorm here. Okay, there you go. Now you don't want to cover the whole thing because you want it to look like there's a snowstorm or a blizzard um, going on. I know we don't really have those in Florida, but still want to look like it. So now you're just going to take the paper out, take the tape off, it's still stuck there. And you're just gonna put this to the side so it can dry. So while it's drying, um, we're going to go wash our hands, uh, rinse off our marbles, and then we're going to get our snowman pieces um, put together. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to make our snowman. Um, like I said, I'm going to be using these um, circular sponges um, to trace out the shape of my circles. Um, but again, you can use whatever you want. This is just what I have on hand. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this out. All right, so let's go ahead and make out his arms. So I'm gonna just cut one long strip here of the brown, and then I'm going to cut it right in half like that. And then I may need to trim it down just a little bit. All right, there we go. And now let's go ahead and make his little top hat. So a little rectangular piece here. All right, that's for the top. And then you want to cut out a long strip, just like we did with the arms um, for the base of the hat. And again, we can adjust this after we've cut it. Let's see. That's fine. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make the base um, for your snow globe. Now I'm just going to cut out a rectangular piece and then I'm going to adjust it uh, when I put the snow globe on it because I might cut it too, too big. Okay, there we go. 
So now for this part, we're going to use a glue stick. Um, if your snow globe is not 100% dry, that's absolutely okay. Um, Cause the paint will actually help um, the snowman and the pieces to stick onto it um, also with the glue. So what you're going to do rather than gluing right onto the snow globe, you're just gonna um, put the glue on the back of the pieces. Okay, so start with the bottom. Alright, so he looks just like that. Now he doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Um, you can actually, if you want to make your snowman look like he's blown over in the blizzard, go right ahead. Be creative um, with your snowman. Um, now let's go ahead and put the arms on. Okay, now for his top hat. Now we just need to put the base on. So the last step is to uh, take your glue stick, uh, take the base that you've cut out and place your snow globe on there. Now I somehow managed to guess um, the right size, but if you made yours too big or too small, just go back um, and make another one. Or if it's too big, you can just adjust it to make it smaller. Um, I'm gonna glue the top part. You might want to make sure it's 100% dry before you do this, but I'm just going to risk it. Okay, there you go. Now, if you want, you can write a little message on here. You can put your name and you can put the year, whatever you want. Um, it'd be really fun if you like made it into a magnet and put it on your fridge um, or even an ornament. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed doing this craft with me today. Um, if you did do the craft, um, I would love to see a photo of it in the comments below. I would love to see how creative you got um, with your snowman. Um, I hope you have a great day.